Hi my beautiful Virgos and welcome to Arcana Priestess. So for those of you that are new, welcome and if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you're new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Every single month I choose one of my subscribers to win a free 15 minute personal reading. For more giveaways, you can follow me on Instagram in the description box below. Personals are also there and I will be doing a sale for this month as I will be taking some time off in a little bit so that will give everybody a chance to get a reading before then. You deserve so much better and, and I feel this, I feel this, I feel this so strongly Virgo, like the thing is when you were with this person, you didn't realize, you didn't realize that you deserved more. You possibly still haven't fully realized your worth. But there's somebody that regrets the way that they treated you. They regret what they had. Um, there's something that they had said to you specifically. Uh, some of you guys, this person had you in a third party situation. They thought that you would be around waiting forever. And they had no intention of actually leaving that other person here. So like you, you're able to see through everything. Like this person, as much as they hurt you, they taught you a lot, okay? They really made you stronger. Um, they really helped you enhance your self-respect. So instead of thinking about all the things that you lost because of this person, think of the things that you gained by dealing with this person. You do have an ex approaching you. You do have an ex um, wanting to apologize, wanting to slide their way back into your life. So they'll probably say, let's go for a coffee. I want to talk. You know, they're not going to be very flat out obvious, but there is somebody who has intentions of coming back into your life. Somebody who you're not meant to take back, okay? I'm hearing they've taken enough from you. Don't allow them to take more. The situation is just going to end uh, the same way that it had originally ended. The four of cups here yeah somebody feels lost without you somebody feels as though um it's like this person didn't realize your worth when they were with you but the second that they had lost you that's all they could think about is everything that you did for them every you know how kind you were to them how open you were uh, with them how they won't be able to replace you here there's somebody that's feeling very lost and very lonely here some of you this could even be you right now feeling as though you don't have much to celebrate right some of you have already had birthdays or you have a birthday coming up happy birthday for those of you guys who have a birthday coming back coming up and happy belated if your birthday has already passed I feel like even if you didn't have the greatest birthday, this is kind of like you need to do something to celebrate yourself, okay? So whether it's after your birthday, it doesn't matter, but I do feel the strong energy of you putting in, you know, time, energy, and effort, and really just kind of like focusing on yourself, putting yourself first, and um, not looking for fulfillment with anybody else, but looking for fulfillment within yourself. I'm seeing energy of like gardening, painting, cooking, things like that things that you can do around your home like what can you do to make your home seem a little bit more fun some of you guys need to listen to those um what are they called they are um motivational speeches when you're getting ready when you're on your way to work whatever the case is here but you need a little bit of like um you need a little bit of a push around this time here you're kind of just feeling a little bit down a little bit out a little bit frustrated like things aren't really going your way here and it's because what's about to come you're not able to see it and the universe is kind of calling you to have a little bit of faith in what you truly cannot see have faith um have faith in what you can't see as if you can see it as if it's already in front of you in order for you to attract it one of the most important things i've learned in my life we have interference um, yeah, some of you guys, you were just ignoring it. It's like you knew there were signs or synchronicities. You just, you knew that this person wasn't being truthful with you. You knew that they weren't being completely honest with you. But still, you allowed yourself to ignore it because you wanted this person. Or for some of you, you might have just wanted someone, right? Be cautious not to allow others to get in the way of an upcoming relationship. Think for yourself. So for others of you, this has to do with a relationship that's coming in and people not really being, you know, not people like kind of just not really approving of the relationship. People maybe even not approving of the person that you're deciding to have a relationship with here. I do feel like there is a little bit of jealousy around you. Um, people that want you to be as happy as them, but they don't want you to be happier than them. People that want you to have as much as them, but they don't want you to have more than them here. And I feel like there are some people that you know you need to cut out of your life. People that you give so much time, energy, and effort into, and you know that these people wouldn't do the same for you here. You have to be comfortable alone in order for you to truly attract who you're actually meant to be. You have to be 100%, just like how they say you have to love, oh, there's two, I'll, I'll do it again. 
just like how they say you have to love yourself to attract the love you desire it's the same thing oh two again what's going on okay can i have one card please okay i feel this one And I, it's the Nine of Cups here. I don't feel the need to pull it reverse, but it did come reverse. So for some of you, you may resonate with the reverse message. And I will just say it quickly, which is you feel this energy of like, there's this energy of like empty, like something that you wanted didn't happen. And you feel like, you know, maybe giving up or you just feel like you just want to stop. You just want to pause life for a second. If you could just press the pause button and just be in your zone for a second, lay in bed for five days, you would be completely happy doing that. Know that it's okay for you to allow yourself to just take some downtime, but I feel like right now you're kind of meant to push through this, okay? Just because what you wanted didn't happen doesn't mean that there isn't something 10 times better out there. With the Nine of Cups, you have a wish fulfillment coming, and it is something better than what you had imagined. So think of what you wanted as five levels down from what you can actually achieve. And that will be your first step in actually achieving what you're meant to. Some of you guys, it's just timing. It's not the right time for you to be in this relationship. It's not the right time for you to start this business, whatever the case is. But I do feel like this is more of, rather than a time for action, a time of analysts, a time for you to analyze your life, analyze the decisions that you've made that have gotten you to where you are now and what you would need to do to get to where you see yourself actually being. I also see this energy of somebody seeing you as a wish fulfillment. There's a lot of people in your life that don't know who you really are. They see what you allow them to see, but you know, you feel, and that could be why you feel lonely. You could be somebody who's completely surrounded by multiple people, but you feel lonelier than ever. And it's because these people don't know who you really are. Like you need to choose somebody and allow them in. Some of you guys need therapy, um, a life coach, somebody that you can just talk to without fearing that they're going to judge you for anything um it's like you know a lot of people say judge uh, virgos are judgmental they judge everything now i don't believe that that's 100 percent true i think that some virgos can absolutely be like that but it definitely has to do with your whole chart who you are rather than just your sun sign so there's this energy of maybe because you judge people or you felt like you've been judgmental in the past you think people are going to judge you the same way right like some of a lot of us have a fear and it may just be one maybe multiple things of something that we know we're capable of and we fear other people will do it because we know that we ourselves are capable of it we have warrior women have you answered your deepest calling i'm hearing it's literally just time for you to cut through the bullshit for you to cut through the bullshit and claim the life that you deserve protect yourself around this time here black tourmaline i don't have it i don't have a piece actually out here but i have it in my shop but another another important crystal for you guys around this time is moon uh, stone. So black tourmaline, moonstone, and for some of you, you need to put amethyst under your pillow. The link for crystals is in the description box, but you can get crystals from whoever you feel called to. Uh, those are just the crystals that I see you using in order to align yourself around this time here. But I do see this energy of you needing to like know that it's okay to say no, right? Standing your ground, only doing the things that make you happy and really like um creating a boundary creating different boundaries with the people that are in your life some of you this is family members somebody that you're in a relationship with um some of you guys may have a better relationship if you have like you know alone time if you live with a person make sure that there's time where you can just be alone in your own home whether that means that they're downstairs you're upstairs or they're literally not in the house and you just have the whole house to yourself right making sure that you're still connecting with friends and family and your relationship isn't the only thing that you are solely focusing on in this moment Someone's been thinking of dyeing their hair black. Um, yes, yes, yes. If your hair is already black and you've been wanting to dye your hair, you need to keep it black for protection. Around this time, I would say like um, October 15th is a good time for you to change it, but just wait till then. We have go outside. It's Somebody's name is Emma. Um, I don't know why, but I'm hearing the name Emma here. Um, I'm hearing Bella. Go outside. It's time for you to go outside tune into the powerful peace of nature whether you are and feel at one or sorry wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat so where is that one place in in you know your world that you feel the most comfortable go there if you have to save to get there safe to get there but make that a priority that also means making your current surrounding 
a little bit more beautiful, right? Spending a little bit more time outdoors. What can you do outdoors that you haven't done in a long time that really makes you feel happy? Going out and, you know, some of you daily walks, a 15 minute walk, something very simple. You know, instead of going to the coffee shop around the corner, go to the coffee shop that's a couple blocks away. But just really like trying new and trying new like, um, you know ways to get places even if you're going to the same place try to go a different way or try to go to a different location like i really see you aligning yourself um and really just getting messages and also meeting people by just going to different areas of where you live so this could be you know instead of maybe you live downtown so maybe you're going to go to another end of your city and go grocery shopping there instead or pick up your coffee there instead but i feel like there's a little bit of hidden places there's some hidden places where you live and you will discover these hidden places and it will make you feel as though you're on a vacation in your actual hometown or in wherever it is that you live in the city that you live yeah and then we have big happy changes here so i truly feel like this big happy changes energy is going to be october i think it's going to flourish in october i do think there's going to be a lot of ups and downs that you're going to be experiencing a lot of um a lot of little things that are just going to be like really you know what i mean you know those days where it's one thing after the next i kind of feel like that's kind of going to be happening and it's kind of like you're being tested like stay positive stay cool stay calm and stay collected while the chaos is happening surrounding you because this chaos is leading you to a new life it's leading you to big beautiful happy changes to a moment where you're going to feel powerful you're going to feel on top of the world but you're going to have to be patient in order to get there okay so thank you so much for uh, watching this reading. Let me know in the comments how this resonates with you because I'm always very curious. Personal readings are on sale in the description box below. So are crystals and all the links to my social medias. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Take care, loves.